So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. And today I wanted to do a quick run through just to show you guys how the Android installation is going on the Dell laptop that I, I showed you guys a couple days ago. So if you guys missed that video, what I did basically is took an old laptop, was able to install the full Android operating system on it. And now I'm just doing a follow-up just to show you guys how everything is working. Now, if you decide to do this, this might be a little bit different based on which device you're running what model laptop the specifications but just so you guys know this laptop is a dell inspiron 153567 as far as the specs it does come with an intel i3 7th generation i do have 8 gigs of ram in here i did go ahead and install an ssd a couple months back and everything else is pretty standard now this laptop is a 2016 2017 model so it's going on a couple years now and what i was able to do since i'm not using it anymore was able to flash android and uh, right now i just wanted to go over some of those questions some of those features just to show you guys how everything is working so let's just start off with a quick overview of the operating system <laughs> So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. Touch screen is working. So right now I am using my finger. I can pinch and zoom. I can go to the widget. So the touch functionalities are still functional, which is a good thing. We swipe down from the left. You're going to see your notifications. You can also accomplish the same thing from the right side. You do have your buttons right here. So you're back your home as well as your tasks or your open application. So if you click on that, you'll see the current apps that's open and you can't go ahead and kill them that way. Swipe to the right, you're gonna to get to your next page, next page, and you can add more pages as you go. Now when we pinch and zoom, guys, you do have those options to either set a wallpaper or set a widget. So if you guys wanted a live wallpaper, you can go ahead and do so. And as far as these settings, you can see you basically have everything that you would have on Android, guys. You have your Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth works as well. You do have your display options, sound, apps compatibility, which I do recommend turning that on just to make sure everything works properly with this installation. So battery is showing my storage. You can see right there, 10 gigs use of 238. So I do have a lot of storage here to work with. As far as the, the memory, you can see my average memory use is 1.1 uh, gigabyte. I do have 7.6 available, so it is quite an overkill, but you can definitely tell the difference when you start gaming. So it has the gestures, usernames, uh, accounts, language input you can reset it as far as the about section this is where we're going to get into android version is 7.1 now google play store is fully functional guys you can search for your your games your applications your streaming apps you can find everything in here that you would normally find on a typical android device third party applications a lot of people are going to ask about that cool thing about this is that you can get your google chrome directly from the play store so if you just search chrome you can go ahead and install it directly i do have it already but the cool thing about this particular google chrome is that you can essentially install your applications from here guys so if you go to file link you can download your file link there if you go to your favorite apk stores you can go ahead and download it i was able to do that and if you guys go to my home page go to my apps you can see i do have file linked right here file link is a third-party app cannot be found in the google play store but if you just go to get that file link.com on google chrome it should bring you into direct download where you can download it put in your favorite store code and you're all set now wi-fi is working for some reason i'm not seeing the, the five gigahertz um, networks but not sure if that's uh, attributed to my laptop itself or to the particular um, operating system but as for now can't see any five gigahertz wi-fi as far as your wired networks all right so you can see this connection right here it shows you that it is connected via ethernet so if i go to my analytics application and if i go to my speed you can see it's a wired network and you can see the download and the upload speed speed is a little bit on the low side but as far as just using both the wi-fi and the wired network uh both seems to be working fine now having said that the google voice assistant also works so if i was to click on right here what's the temperature like in sudan it's 79 degrees in khartoum right now play 4k videos on youtube Okay. 
was able to open a YouTube application and brought me exactly where I needed to be. So here's an example of a 4K video. Uh, because this laptop, the max resolution is only 1080p, uh, video card doesn't support 4K. So the maximum resolution I was able to get on this is 1080p. Uh, besides that, it looks fine. It works great. Uh, I was able to, to fast forward, rewind, no issues with skipping or anything like that. If you have a device that supports 4K, you might see uh, different results. Now, a lot of questions about Pluto TV, Zoom, all those free applications uh, work fine with no issues. Even though Pluto looks a little bit weird in this window, uh, when you went to expand what you wanted to watch, it did go ahead and fill up the entire screen. And besides that, you had the same experience that you would have on an Android box. So hopefully I answered some of those questions about installing APKs. Uh, uh, shout out to Elliot. He, he posted a question in the previous video saying, can you install a browser on it such as Chrome and use and install APKs, file link, et cetera. So hopefully Elliot, that answer your question. Now I also do have a USB drive inserted. And again, with the USB drive, you can either adapt storage, which means the storage becomes a part of your internal storage, or you can just use it as a portable storage like I'm doing now. So here's a storage. I do have a couple of things on here. I do have stuff. I do have some content up here, but I'm not gonna get into all that. I do have two things here, uh, Netflix, is an application that doesn't work properly on this version of Android. Now you can see I'm able to install it, but when I go to open it, I get the error and it just doesn't want to install. So you're gonna have issue with Netflix, but one workaround that you can do, you can always just go to your browser. You can just go to netflix.com. You can sign in there, you can watch your own content. Like I said, with this browser, if you have any compatibility issue, you can always just put it in the desktop mode and it should work how it normally works in your computer. Netflix is right there, so you can use your USB automatically, the text USB, obviously. Uh, this is a 4K video that I have from one of my drones and uh, this does play as well. So let me go ahead and launch this. We'll just use VLC. And you can see that works with no issues, guys. I mean, it's not smooth as butter, but it's working pretty good in my opinion. Able to handle the playback, I'm able to skip back and forth, and the video is pretty smooth. And being a 1080p video, it's holding its own. So let's jump over to benchmark. Then we'll see how the gaming experience is on this device. All right, so here we are with the the benchmark score, and this actually did really good. Cause in in all honesty, this is a computer, so the specifications are gonna be of that PC. So I had eight gigs of RAM SSD in here, and I I'll put the the clock speed of the processor on the screen right now i don't remember it off the top of my head but performance is pretty good you can see on the graphics score i scored a 35 39 um on the on the physics score 29 28 and if you scroll down i want to get an idea of where this compares to the other android devices that this was put up against so i scored better than 69 percent of devices that ran this test just to give you a frame of reference the fire stick scored i think better than 19 percent of devices that performed this test so with all that said let's go ahead and we'll test out some gaming on here So overall, this was a good install in my opinion. Just everything seems to work normally except for Netflix and we do have a workaround for that. Gaming was excellent on this. Uh, this probably performed in 99% of the Android devices that I've used and tested this game on. The benchmark scores were high. Obviously, we are working with eight gigs of RAM. We do have a graphics card that we're not used to seeing in those Android boxes. Uh, fact that the touchscreen works, both Wi-Fi, wired connection worked as well. You do have a full Google Play Store, the Chrome browser, and you are also able to install third-party apps. So I would call this a success. Uh, drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you guys are planning to do this, let me know which device you're installing this on. And also drop your comments. Let me know if you ran into any issues. If you guys didn't watch that original video, I'll go ahead and link that in the description. As always, hit a thumbs up on this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.